from Evening Magazine, WBZ TV 4, Boston. Hello. 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 Sexy and sentimental, controversial and compassionate, adventurous and a bit ridiculous. It's been a great year on Evening Magazine with some great stories. I feel terrible about it. I feel betrayed. Mark Christian lived with Rock in his Beverly Hills house for two years. I stay out of the water. All right! He's too cute, huh? He's, he'll, he, he looks like a friendly type. Oh, he's friends with everybody. Jonathan has a congenital heart defect, a large hole in his heart. A decade ago, Jonathan would have needed to survive to the age of three or four years before corrective surgery could be performed. For Roger Clemens, the hard work is paying off. At age 23, he's a bona fide superstar, compiling the best pitching record in the majors so far this season. And this guy is making baseball exciting to watch. Later, Rita caused something of a scandal herself by bearing all for Playboy twice. The first issue was one of the largest sellers ever. Today, though, Rita is donning conservative business wear. Never content with becoming a face in the crowd, Rita Jenrett has made her way to Wall Street. Capturing the perfect shot by freezing the most exciting moment in an athletic event is what David Brownell does best. As one of a handful of the most highly published action photographers in America, he has over 100 magazine covers to his credit. It's also been a great year for the evening special. Over the last couple of seasons, we've experimented with the half-hour evening magazine special, completely locally produced, with stories relating to a central theme. This year, the evening special came into its own. It's Super Bowl fever on tonight's evening magazine as we take you to New Orleans where we go behind the scenes. Given Boston's and NBC's involvement with Super Bowl XX, it made sense to go down to New Orleans and come back with a special. Because we have to wipe the lens, you'll excuse me, the moisture in the locker room, my cameraman Dick Cade, is that better? Thank you very much. Thanks, everybody says fine. <laughs> in Boston, Bob Lobel is on top of his game. He's New England's number one sportscaster. But when you talk New Orleans and Super Bowl, it doesn't matter who you are. You become just another face in the media crowd. The cross-promotion with our sports anchor didn't hurt either. And this is one big crowd. <laughs> At 101 years old, Ruby Hemingway is probably the country's oldest journalist. Our continuing New England portrait series, seen each week on evening, lent itself to a fine half hour as well. Elaine Corey is a teacher, choreographer, and director of some of the country's most talented young people. David Bunker has spent the majority of his life in an institution, and now he puts his life into words as the poet of the Fernald School. Listen as these four people share their stories on our New England portrait special. The Boston Marathon was the topic of two half-hour specials this year. The first on the marathon's history, the second a live show with quick turnaround stories profiling the runners and recapping the race. While the half-hour specials scattered through the schedule have proven to be a great local punctuation, theme weeks have been a more economical use of local material, providing an excellent base for promotion as well. Mary Nolan, and you're invited to board with us all week long. We've got some pretty inviting ports of call coming up, especially this time of year. We'll be stopping in Nassau, San Juan, St. Thomas, and I think if you stay with us all week and sit close enough to the set, you may pick up a bit of a tan. From a Caribbean cruise to Switzerland, to a week in the Colorado Rockies, Travel, as you know, has worked well as the basis for theme weeks. Most recently, our week aboard a luxury yacht off the coast of southern New England was a very big success. It was a side that we had the chance to see as we sailed right into a storm. You guys gonna get wet in a second. The rain's coming right now. Okay. But our themes are not necessarily limited to a week. Our Ireland trip was aired over a three-day period, while Disney World was a two-parter. Travel is not the only source of theme promotion. Our week focusing on the Kennedy mystique was based on locally produced stories. Hi, John Fitzgerald Kennedy. Do solemnly swear. 
Boston Beat Week was another of our theme promotions. Five local stories based on the Boston music scene. The shows were co-hosted each night by local morning DJs, who in turn gave us cross-promotion, having Barra and Sarah as guest on their radio show, The Morning the DJs were to appear on Evening Magazine. Remember guys, the mm -hmm. camera is here. Okay. You've got 35 seconds to right. introduce the Boston music scene story. Yeah. Take it. No problem. Okay, now you see, we know everything there is to know about music, right, Lauren? Oh, absolutely. It's all gone in cycles here. You see, first of all, the Philadelphia sound came out of Philadelphia. Then the Motown sound out of Detroit. California beach music out of California. Then everything went to San Francisco. And, but here it is. 1986, and it's all coming right out of Boston, a music explosion. And finally, the contest. We've run two since our last gathering. The first, an Irish Mother's Day giveaway. How would you like to be able to tell your mother where to go? Very no. I mean, on a trip, on a vacation, to just have the whole thing all set up for a great trip for two to Ireland for a week. Heaven knows your mother could use the trip. All you have to do is send a postcard. The name, address, daytime phone number of your favorite mom to Evening's Mother's Day Irish Giveaway, Post Office Box 400, Boston 02134. Because they're related to us, our moms are ineligible. Sorry, Mom, just flowers again this year. Give your mom a great Irish Mother's Day. And by the way, the winner of that contest was Italian. Our second contest was part of WBZ's For Kids Sake campaign. The search was for a kid correspondent to be a regular on evening, reporting on what's happening over the weekend for kids. We had the kids write in, followed by auditions. One of these finalists is evening's new kid correspondent. Take two. Who will it be? From Kennebec, Maine to Quincy, Massachusetts, over 1,000 of you young New Englanders sent us your entries. And now Steve Avison introduces Evening's Kid Correspondent, Thursday at 7.30 on WBZ-TV4. Don't miss it. And the winner is? Hi, I'm Matthew Paul, your kid correspondent. And I have a great new idea for you down at Boston Museum of Science. Well, folks, that's what's going on in Boston. Wise guys, huh? Why you I oughta Slowly I turn. Yeah, wise guy. 